If you're seeing this video, stay till the end, but fair content warning as we're going to be talking about intimacy and other things. Masturbation is a form of witchcraft. Granted, stuff like this does exist. But if Christians had to stop doing something just because a pagan or a witch and so on and so forth has done it, then we wouldn't have the Christian faith and we wouldn't have the Bible itself. You get attacked with sexual morality. A lot of times Christians say, oh, I'm just struggling. I, 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 I. When really it's a demonic attack. It's not God leading you to masturbate. So therefore it is the enemy. For one, there's absolutely no biblical evidence for what she's saying here. But two, humans are complicated beings. We have a crap ton of different reasons, sociologically, psychologically, etc., that we can explain why people engage in these kinds of activities. It doesn't need to have anything to do with anything demonic. Masturbation is a self-sin. Masturbation is a form of control. Controlling your own pleasure, that is witchcraft. It's not even obvious in the text that this is a sin. And furthermore, witchcraft is not just a form of control. If that were the case, then drawing would be witchcraft because you're controlling the pencil, and intimacy during marriage would be witchcraft. That is a curse that you begin to place over your own life that will then literally bleed into your future children's life. This so check out this person's content on generational curses, but that whole concept of Christians having generational curses is just not biblical. The enemy then wants to put you in shame, and then you have all the witches and the people saying, oh my goodness, you're, you're just pouring shame over people. Christianity is so toxic. No, no, let me tell you what's toxic. What's toxic is a broken pattern made by witchcraft, made by a mankind type of thought system to say that it's your fault that you're sinning when the enemy knows what he's doing. The enemy knows how he's allowing you to fall into your own trap of pleasure. She's speaking out of both sides of her mouth here because on the one hand, she wants to blame Satan and not the person. But then on the other hand, she wants to say that all Satan is doing is allowing you to fall into your own trap. Yes, this is toxic. Blaming demonic or satanic activity on something that has nothing to do with that and then telling them that if they engage in this activity, they will curse their children. Yes, that's toxic. <laughs> you need to break that witchcraft off of your life in the mighty name of Yeshua. You need to break this terrible theology in the mighty name of Yeshua, of course. If you guys want actual help with dealing with these issues, then check out this content creator, this individual here, and this person here. I would really encourage you also to do your own research on psychosexual health and well-being. All she's doing is damaging the body who struggles with these issues and damaging our evangelistic witness.